Greetings and welcome back my friends. Today I'm going to show you my top 10 vinyl finds for record fairs over the last few years. And these are absolutely dooties, eh? You're going to be so stoked when you see these, because I was. First up, this was in a box for $15. And it had on it, very noisy on the sticker. I thought, oh well, it's going to be goose day. Eh? It's going to be knackered. Anyway, I looked at it. It was a bit dirty, but it, it looked looked all right. I said to the guy, why has it got very noisy on it? He goes, oh, it's ACDC, it's noisy. I'm like, so it's not the record that's noisy. You just think ACDC is noisy. He goes, yeah, it's just no it's just a noisy record. I'm like, what the hell? Anyway, I said, I'll take it off you, eh? And this is the um, 1975 Australian Albert Pressing. This came out a year before the... European one with AC um, Angus on the front there, so I got that for fifteen dollars. Couldn't believe it, eh? Because the guy reckons they were noisy. It's AC DC. What else can I say? Next up, I went to a record fair at the Inglewood Bowling Club, and a guy I usually go over. He's usually got loads, loads of classic stuff from the seventies and that seventies and eighties. Went over there, and I've never ever seen a copy of this in my whole life. In all the years I've been collecting records, I've never seen a vinyl copy. And this was in there for $40. Black Sabbath's Forbidden album. With Tony Martin on the vocals. Tony Naomi, obviously. you got Neil Murray on the bass. Cozy Powell drumming. And Jeff Nichols on keyboards. And this came out in 1995. I've got... I'm slowly getting all the Tony Martin albums now. I've got the um, Cross Purposes... What was he on here? So... This one will go nicely, eh? Because you don't often see them on vinyl. There you go. Black Sabbath's Forbidden. Happy days. Next up, my favourite Deep Purple album. I've got a few different pressings of this. Um, Malaysian. I've got a UK, American, Australian. I think I've got a Japanese pressing as well. But this one, the German one, a different coloured cover on it. I mean, on the reverse, you've got the... The common blue cover cover there, but the uh, German one was the white cover, so I had to snap it up. A eh? so I go with the other the other five pressings, so that's pretty cool. This next one I picked this up a few months back at a record fair, and I couldn't believe it. I never even seen a copy of this before either. And this is a Creator bootleg live at Queens Hall, 1987. This was recorded in Leeds in the UK on December 13th. And the thing is. There's no track, I've not played this yet. I'm, only, I'm not a little long, but I'll get round to it. There's no track listing, there's no there's no tracks on the cover. You take the record out, doesn't tell you what's on it, it just tells you where it was recorded. So it'd be interesting to uh finally put that on the turntable and see what's on there. I mean I could cheat, I could go on the discogs or whatever and find out what's on it, but it'll be a surprise to play it, not knowing what's coming next. Alright. Went to a record fair at Wireless Hill about a year or so ago. I was a huge queue, eh? When we got there, was a huge queue. I looked down the queue and I could see like loads of dealers in there and guys from the record fairs and people who own record shops. I thought, oh Christ, by the time I get in, there's going to be nothing left. Anyway, we queued up. Me and Christy got, finally got in there and it was just packed, eh? All the tables were just full of people looking through records. I'm like, oh, there's going to be nothing left, eh? Anyway, I spot a gap down the end of the hallway, down the end of the hallway. So, I freaking whizzed over, started looking through, and I went, I can't believe what I can't believe what was in there, eh? I was gobsmacked. I'm like, how the hell has no one picked this up? It was $25. And it was sitting there, just waiting for me. And this is Led Zeppelin Stereo to Heaven. 12-inch single. And this cardboard's like really thick cardboard. And apart I did some research, this came out in 2010, unofficial release. But what's interesting about it is you take it out, you've got Stairway to Heaven on that side, and the other side's got absolutely nothing on it, apart from an Alistair Crowley poem at the bottom there. You can't, it's pretty small writing, right? you won't be able to see that. It's like an excerpt or a poem from Alistair Crowley. I was like, what the hell is this? I'm like, I've never seen it before. So Stairway to Heaven, blank side, Alistair Crowley, and it was in there for $25. As on my way out, I saw a mate, and he goes, what, what did you pick up? I'm like, you're never going to believe this, eh? I didn't think there'd be much left. By the time the vultures got in there, I found this. He's like, 
Oh my god. I wish I'd seen that. I said, well, it's too late now, mate. I've got it. So there you go. Stay with the heaven. Next up, this I've only had this a few months as well. I had a giggle when I came across this one because I've got I've got a whole cube now of Led Zeppelin records. All different pressings from all around the world. Israeli, Mexican, Japanese, Canadian, American, UK, Australia, you name it, it's in there, but I've not got one of these pressings. And I actually giggled when I came across it. It was like $30. I've never seen one before. It was a Taiwanese pressing of Led Zeppelin's first. Like it's like a papery sleeve enclosed in like a plastic sleeve. And you've got the uh there's your label there. It's like a, I can't see what the label is, but it's, it's identical rear cover, identical front cover. And I actually played it. I got it on that day and I put it on the turntable. And it sound, sounded all right, hey. So another Led Zeppelin, different pressing to go with the others. I think can do. Next up, I've seen this, because these are hard to find now. Um, the early original Man War albums. I mean, last couple of videos I showed you, I got Hell to England and uh, Battle Hymns. And this is on the record for over 25. Sound of the Hammer, which is pretty cool from 1984. So it's good that if you find a Man of War, grab it because it's hard to find, eh? Next up, I picked these two up from the Hilton Bowling Club. And I'm like, I just, I just grabbed them. They're like $30 each, both double albums. Metallica bootlegs and apparently these were released in 2016 and it's both the same concert both have got a concert on the same concert in Winnipeg in Canada December 13th 1986 so that was when Jason Newstead just just came on board after Cliff sadly died a few months earlier so basically yeah both got the same tracks on there I didn't realize at the time when I bought them it wasn't until I got home and I, and I looked at the backs and that but I didn't want to leave them there just in case but so there you go, two double bootlegs, same concert, awesome tracks. Metallica, happy days. I got the picture, I've got the picture of this record of this I bought years and years ago, but I found it in the record for the album, and that was Running Wild under Jolly Roger. Absolutely superb album. If you like your pirate metal, pirate power metal, absolutely superb artwork. And you get a it's, on, it's the original Noise Records as well from 1987. There's your pirate map. Noise Records. It wasn't until I opened it. I didn't realise this was in there. And uh, it's a like a merchandise thing. It's got it's got Voivod, it's got a Voivod in a in a thing there. Which I didn't know was in there. It's got a um merchandise to sheet for t-shirts like there's sabbat there history of a time to come so i might put that in the um sabbat album so that was pretty that was a neat surprise to open that up finally this was scored a century so i was at the woodville record fair and uh everyone was setting up this couple came in put the table out started loaning crates on and everyone was like over there like vultures mate like seagulls at the tip I'm not one of those people who can just barge in and start looking after. I just like, I'm too polite for me all good. So I just sat back. Everyone in, went in there, pulling records out, paying for it. And I just waited. About 10 minutes later, it all died down. So I thought I'll just nip over there, see if there's anything left, see if there's any, any scraps left. Anyway, I was going for the box. Just like, so like, nah, nothing's going to be in here. And this, this popped up. And I'm like, how the hell did no one pick this up? What is wrong? What is wrong with you people? I'm, and it must be just waiting for me, eh? And you're never, you're never gonna believe this. Venom Black Metal from 1982, original, neat pressing, 1005. But not only is it the original pressing, but it's the grey, the grey copy. 25 bucks it was. And the funny thing was, when I got home, and I took the 25 dollar stick off. Underneath it was a $1.99 sticker from the Salvation Army charity shop. So these people had obviously bought it for like a dollar ninety-nine, whacked it up to twenty-five. Then when I got home, I was like, oh, it's got it, that's gonna be it's pretty rare this record, eh? So when I had discogs, it was going for something like four hundred. I couldn't believe it, eh? Hey? Not that I'd sell it because I've got I've got about three different copies of black metal up there. So that goes with that one nicely. 
My original pressing on silver from grey. So it was like score of a century. Couldn't believe it. She must have made some awesome finds there. So you've got to get out there, keep searching, because I'm going to be keep searching. Never stop. It's all out there for the taking. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. Bye for now.